you see obviously there's an old wound right there and it's got a good bit of decay developing in it and what did the tree do in response to that wound it put out a sprout down here and a sprout down there why did it do that well maybe in part it's trying to you know cover some of this direct sun that might be beaten down on the trunk but it could have put those branches out anywhere why in such close proximity to that wound and here's the I'm gonna lay a little wisdom on you in order for a tree to build up a thick layer of new wood it has to have some griefy lean material near where that wood's going so these two water sprouts epicormic shoots whatever you want to call them some people might even call them suckers are here for a reason the tree needs them because it, it realizes I've got a wound here that's going to continue to decay get I'm gonna have a hollow trunk the more wood I can put on the more new wood I can put on in the meantime the stronger I'm gonna be able to resist failure at this point here it also added a couple more wounds right up here but it hasn't bothered putting on any new sprouts at that at that point yet so now also for those of you that don't know when a tree has been wounded it puts it puts a chemical barrier up, up. All, the, all the existing wood at the time that the tree was wounded is susceptible to decay if the tree can't compartmentalize that decay which it doesn't look like it's able to do eventually all that old wood is going to get hollowed out and rotted in the meantime every year the tree's putting on a new growth ring that growth ring is going to stay good clean wood hopefully that it will be compartmentalized there so all the new wood will be protected from that infection there there's where you get your hollow pipe now the more wood it can put on obviously it's kind of a race between time can it put on new wood fast, fast enough to to make uh, that pipe the pipe wall strong enough and thick enough to su support the whole rest of this tree going out here the whole rest of this branch going out here well let's hope so one of the things we can do for this tree since we are pruning it is knowing that there's a weakness there take an extra extra amount of weight off of this one branch here because that's the one that's got the most leverage out over the house and we're going to reduce the force on this area for quite some time while we're going to try to preserve these two branches i'm going to have to trim them because the customer wants the tree looking pretty but i'll have to tell her look this is much better for the tree to leave these branches i'm going to trim them up i'm not going to remove them altogether. 